What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kids News Weekly. It's almost October, and we've got some really cool stories this week, all about science, health, nature, and fun events. Yep, from cricket victories to breakthroughs in medicine and space, let's dive in. Number one, big sports news. India has won the 2025 Asia Cup, beating Pakistan in the final in a thrilling match. That sounds huge. How did it go down? Pakistan scored 146 runs. India tasted, scoring 50 for 5 wickets in just 19.4 overs. Very close. Is that a fast chase? Yes, and more. This was the first time India and Pakistan ever met in an Asia Cup final. India went undefeated all tournament. Wow, that's a statement win for sure. Number two. In health news, doctors have found a new inhaler that might have asthma attacks in children. How? Huh? That's me. It's a combo device, two medicines in one inhaler. Kids who used it had far fewer emergencies than those using standard inhalers. So less hospital vi- visits, less trouble, less trouble breathing. That's light. That's life changing. Number three, over in Texas, bird watchers spotted a rare hybrid, part blue jay, part green jay, and nicknamed it Gru jay. Gru? Because it's a green plus blue? Scientists think climate or shifting habitats may be helping this cross happen. Nature keeps surprising us. Number four, Bill Gates might... Bill Gates gave a serious warning this week for the first time in decades. Child survival rates might go backward in 2025. Backwards? That means more uh, children might not survive than before? Sadly, yes. He says cuts in funding for health, vaccines, and nutrition could undo decades of progress. That's scary. We have to keep protecting the kids of this world. Number five, in Australia, the Thrive Kids Festival smashed attendance records during the school holidays. Well, they, what do they do there? Ocean theme exhibits, hands-on science, art installations, interactive booths, families lined up for hours. Sounds like the coolest field trip ever. Number six, September 8th was International Literacy Day. Remi- reminding us why reading and writing are so important everywhere. Without reading, we lose stories, knowledge, and voices. Exactly. Books open doors. Number seven. Space news. Astronomers release a 3D map of stellar nurseries, places where stars are born, using data from the Gaia telescope. That's like mapping baby stars. Star- that's like ma- that's like mapping baby stars in space. Yes, it helps us to see. It helps us see how stars form over time, and gives us a deeper view of our galaxy. Number eight, in STEM news, scientists developed a bio-inspired robotic limb called RoboBlimp to teach STEM in middle schools. A bloom that teaches science? Yep. Students build and program it. It looks at how many it's it looks at how many manta rays move, so it's inspired by nature. The project showed big learning gains for kids in physics, engineering, and coding. That's so cool. Learning by doing with fly flying robots. That wraps up all eight stories of this week. Science, nature, health, and sports, and innovation. Which one was your favorite? Drop it in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until then, stay stay smart, stay stay kind, and stay curious. Bye!